Hey guys, Tim Hunt here, and today we're going fishing. Uh, nothing special, I'm out at Heron Lake, I'm just going to walk up and down the bank, take a pan fishing pole and a bass pole with me, see if we can't get into a bite. Um, I would like to apologize in advance, the audio quality is probably going to be so-so, um, right next to the road, I can't really help that, and I just don't want to be too far from home today because my son's being a little bit fussy, but I'm going to try out my new microphone, see if that doesn't mitigate some of the issues, and we'll just have to see. If it doesn't, I'll try to fix it as much as I can in post. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get fishing. What you've just watched is me put my HMG by Fenwick, which stands for High Modulus Graphite, three-piece rod together. This is a travel rod. It comes in a really cool little case. Um, I've wanted one of these for a while and when Gander had their half off sale I snagged one up and I, I'm just I'm planning on doing some traveling here in the future Some camping some stuff like that and I felt like this would be a good thing to have I'm not really a fan of the telescoping rods to be honest with you. This just seemed to be in the build There's enough room in that case for a couple packs of soft plastics like a little small like single size Plano box so you can put your hooks in your You know small jigs and things like that in there. You can put some tackle in that case with it and I felt like that would be just an excellent option for, you know, traveling. I'm really eager. I've already owned a Fenwick HMG. I loved it. The only problem, the reason I got rid of it was because this is too long for kayak fishing. But I feel like if that, especially with the PFD, uh, but I feel like that's a sacrifice that you got to make on a travel rod or something like that. So I thought I'd give it another try. This isn't exactly a review, but I might make a few comments about it. Like what I do and don't like as the day goes on. It is hot today. So I'm going to start with my standard, which is, as you may know, the uh, weightless Senko. And then if we can find a bite, we might switch it up, try some top water or a crankbait or something. But I think also a weightless Senko is a great way to test the sensitivity of this rod. Now, I don't have super high expectations considering the fact that it's uh, a three piece, you know, not one graphite blank. So I don't expect it to be as sensitive as, say, like my Shimano Zodius or even the original Fenwick HMG. But if it can come close, if I can feel that line tick whenever a fish picks up the Senko, then I'll call it a success. We've also got the uh, St. Croix Triumph rod chilling right there. We're going to throw some panfish stuff. We've got a trout magnet on it right now. And we're just going to walk up and down the bank and see how we do. Sounds like we have a free soundtrack today over at the golf course. I don't mind. I see turtles busting about. I think I saw a fish too. Let's go ahead. It is hot guys. It's like 86 degrees right now and I'm standing. I'm about to be standing in the lake if I'm not careful. I'm standing directly in the sun. So let's do a little bit of education here. If you look around, you see shaded spots. So what I'm looking for is structure and shade because these fish will eat. You just have to put it on their head. Oh, there we go. That didn't take long. <laughs> I felt that too. That was crazy. Like I said, guys, structure and shade. He came right off that pipe. He's just a little guy too. That's funny. But hey, he's a fish. On 85 degree weather days, I will not complain about a small fish. Holler at me, Debo. Your boy out here catching dinks. Change the GoPro battery. And I think since we've caught a bass in this little spot, you never know how many bass are sitting in one spot. Um, we're going to throw the trout magnet. See what else is in here. There we go. Nice. Hi, little buddy. Welcome to the Tim Hahn Fishing Channel. You know, I filmed a Daiwa Rev Roast review yesterday. It's not going to be up until after this video for reasons you'll come to see whenever, um, whenever it goes live. But I was fishing a private palm with giant bluegill and giant warmouth that are coming down to about right here on me. And so I'm not quite as enamored by this guy, but his colors are gorgeous. He's a fish. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. We caught our two fish here in this little area. Let's move down the bank, maybe just 10, 15 feet. Pick apart that structure and see how we do. So this St. Croix is rated for 116th and up. Um, honestly, I've been throwing 164ths and 132nds on it since yesterday and it's handling it very well. 
I'm not big into ultralight fishing. I just, I don't know. I mean, I like fishing for small fish. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's fighting good. He's fighting good. <laughs> okay. Hi, buddy. Oh, hey, be nice. Be nice. So way to behave for company. Guys, say hello to our new friend. Oh. <laughs> All right, he's eager to go home, so we're going to let him. Bye, bud. There we go. I knew we'd catch something over here. Oh, man. I don't think that's... I think that's like a rock bass or something. Let's throw that trout magnet in there and see what happens. There we go. <laughs> I knew there was a rock bass there just from the way it was being aggressive. Okay, guys, tell me. This is a warm mouth, right? Not a rock bass? I have the hardest time discerning between the two. I'm pretty sure it's a warm mouth. But thanks for playing, little man. I appreciate you. Let's scoot down the bank a bit and see if we can't catch another fish, shall we? There we go. Oh, that's a decent bass. Okay. <laughs> well, I wasn't ready, guys. I wasn't ready at all. Hey, hold still. Hold still. I want to let you go, okay? That's a good 13, 14 inch, I think. Yeah, 13, maybe 14. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate you. Have a good one. All right, we caught one. Let's see if there's two bass here. So far, I'd say the sensitivity of this rod is pretty good. Um, I felt that bite. It was a very small bite. I felt, I felt that one too. <laughs> oh, we skin hooked him. Hold still, but I don't want you to fall. Looking pretty healthy though. Nice little 12 incher. All right, buddy. Have a good one. We picked a couple of bass and a sunfish out of here. Let's move down a little bit and keep picking it apart, shall we? So far, I'm pretty pleased with this three-piece rod. I'm sure it's not as sensitive as a one-piece, but hey, I caught fish on it. I wanted to show you what we've tied on. We've got a 13 fishing lipless crankbait in blue chrome. I figure in this murky water with the bright sun up, this might catch us a fish. There we go. Oh no, I missed him. There we go. Ah, okay, so my first impressions of the 13 fishing lipless crank is that it has not great hooks. Uh, three bites, three losses. I mean, the, the bait itself looks great, but I would expect better hooks, I suppose. I don't know. I guess it, now they're just all right. Oh, goodbye, crankbait. This, guys, is why I don't use braid. I'll tell you what. I'm going to turn off the GoPro again, let it cool off while I try to pick out this rat's nest. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Well, that was a whole ordeal. That might have taken 30 minutes or so to pick out, but... It's okay because it gave the GoPro time to cool off. I've tied on a baby bull shad. You know, I've, I have two of these, a perch and a shad color, but I've never fished them just because they're a little intimidating. And I, I bought several six cents swim baits, but I have yet to fish those too because again, intimidating. But I think the baby bull shad's probably a good place to start. Oh guys, I see my line. No way. I wonder if I can get that back. <laughs> Yay! No lost lure today, guys. I haven't got too much longer. I'm not trying to be out here all day. I just wanted to come hang out with you guys for a little bit. Get the line wet, maybe pull in a couple of fish. And we've definitely succeeded in that. Through the magic of editing, you guys won't have to sit out here for an hour and 45 minutes, going on two hours, to see me catch these few fish. 
I can lump them all together, which takes a considerable amount of effort. So if you're enjoying the video, consider getting subscribed, like it if you liked it, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know down in the comments below for sure. Does the wind noise, is that a deal breaker for you guys? Because if it is, I'll, I'll stop fishing here and filming here. Like, I could just come here to fish for fun. I don't have to film here. And I definitely want to make content that's enjoyable for you guys. And one of the beauties of where I live is that I have a multitude of places I can fish. So I decided to tie a 1/16th or a 1/32nd ounce MEPS. It's a, it's a light one on my light action rod. And see if we can't hook into a crappie or a small bass, just something, you know, a little bit of excitement. There we go. <laughs> That's actually a little emaciated bass. He 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 needs some help. Eat some of those fry, buddy. All right, have a good one. Hey, we caught something. We're probably gonna wrap it up here soon, guys. Um, if we cut back to the van, you know why. Uh, if not, he'll see on the next fish. Man, it is hot outside. I'm not even sure what it is. I think it's the high 80s. Um, but, you know, it was fun. I had a good time. We caught plenty of fish for the amount of time we're out here. I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope the audio is okay. I was trying out my new Purple Panda mic to see if that would help kill road noise or if it's only going to make it worse. I'm going to play around with it in post and see if it sounds good. And if it does sound good, you guys will see it. And if you enjoy it, let me know. I sweat bullets for this one, guys. Go down in the comments, say watch till the end. If you did watch till the end, if you aren't subscribed and you enjoyed this video, cool. I'd go check some of the cooler ones. Uh, consider getting subscribed. That's all I got for you guys. So I need you to remember, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. God bless you. Keep on fishing, and I'll see you in the next one. Wow, I got the air full blast, so it might be a little hard to hear me. It is hot outside. Oh. <laughs>